John Shanahan has been an educator for 28 years. You're going to be leading all these people, right? Yeah. He's been principal of St. Patrick's Catholic Secondary School for the last year and a half. And this past January, Shanahan learned he had been selected as one of Canada's 40 outstanding principals for 2012. To be honest, I was shocked. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know there was such an award. It's a nice feeling. I mean, obviously, it's uh, nice to be appreciated. The award recognizes exceptional school leaders who have made a real difference in the lives of their students and teachers. It makes us feel so proud that he's part of our community and secure in the fact that we have such a strong leader. The school goes the way you go. Veronica Lacey is the creator of Canada's Outstanding Principals Program, and she's also president and CEO of the Learning Partnership, a national organization whose mission is to champion a strong public education system. In my many years in education, I have seen many good schools, many good teachers, but I have never seen a great school without a great principal. How difficult is it to be an effective principal? When you go home at night and there's a problem with a student or um, something that's going on in the school, you take it home with you and you think about it. And I think it's the, to be good at anything, it becomes part of your life. In the short time that John has been principal at St. Patrick's, he's implemented the gifted student and mentorship program, as well as the lunch hour and after school peer tutoring. And every now and again, he makes time to shoot a few hoops. <laughs> What makes John, in your opinion, an exceptional school leader? His passion, his drive, his belief that every student can achieve are not only admirable, but observable. What do your students and this school mean to you? Everything. I look at these kids like they're my kids, and if they don't get those skills to, to go out and do things in the world, then we've all lost. Okay. Where was my great principal when See, I was growing up? what a great up? guy. I had yeah. Mr. Swanson. He used to smile he was all the time. Good. He was happy, so I liked him. No, you know, what's interesting here is <laughs> that you don't have a great school without a great principal. That's right. Because the it leader. comes from the top down. Absolutely. Right? Okay. So who nominated him? I believe it was the parents of the school. Uh -huh. It's supported by the teachers. But in terms of nominations, it could be the students' council, the teachers, colleagues. Okay. The school community. I think everybody parents. voted for John. And we did too. Principals from every province and territory are selected by a national selection committee made up of academics and private sector community leaders. And what made the selection process unique this year was the Aboriginal principal from an on-reserve school. Aside from this prestigious award, recipients attend a week-long executive leadership training program taught by university professors and business leaders at the Rotman School of Management. To learn more tonight and how you can nominate an outstanding principal in your school, you can always visit GlobalToronto.com and click on Making a Difference. And the deadline is October 26th of this year for next year's Very principles. impressive person. Very what, good. What Susan isn't telling you, that when she got to the school, you were bossing Mr. Shannon around. As soon as I saw him, he looked at me and I said, you know what's going to make you outstanding? He goes, you want a cup of coffee? I said, I <laughs> certainly do. You're in my book. The truth comes out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Susan, thanks.